Hello YouTube, this is The Intake, presented by Mike's Model Shop, and I'm Mike. So I have a couple things I want to show you today. First thing is, I've been messing with these glitter powders. They're supposed to go with gel paint. And you put them on with an applicator, but first thing you have to do, just a little applicator. First thing you have to do is use some, I tried the Rust-Oleum 2K gloss black, and uh, that worked, that worked real well. Then I tried the uh, actual gloss black nail polish, and that was chunky, that came out real chunky, I wasn't too happy with that. So I went back to the Rust-Oleum, and I started with... The custom wheels from the Ranchero. That's what they start out with. And I use this. I like to call black chrome. And that's how that came out. I was messing around with the centers. Trying to see if I could change the colors. Just. This is all just test stuff. So that black chrome came out real well. I was really happy with that. But you got to work fast. It's uh doesn't give you a lot of time to do, like, a large part. And then here's a, a blue, bluish purple. That didn't come out quite as well. It, it's nice, but it didn't really. It's got some chunkier spots to it a little bit. I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to try it on some bumpers and see how that goes. I'm looking to... Find an easy way to do different color chromes, basically. So I'll get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to show you. Car I just finished up. It's the Ravel 1981 Camaro Z28. Um, first things first, it came with these styrene tires and I just they looked okay I just wasn't a real big fan so I I went out and bought some of uh, Jay, Jay's resins those are the 2120s and they're the same if you can tell they're the same style rim just in 21s and 20s pretty cool looking Aggressive stance. I lowered it. And uh, these fit right in there. Pretty cool. Car came out nice. It's painted in the uh, Tester's Extreme Lacquer. <clears throat> um, let's see if I can get the, the name of the color. And it doesn't have it on the cat. Oh, yeah, it does. Star Spangled Blue. I'm sure a lot of people know that color. I've heard it before. A lot of people like it. It's a beautiful color. I was in love with these back in 81 when they came out in this color. So that's I was going to make it the gunmetal gray like on the box. And then I realized they had the striping. And I had to go with it. So I also um, kind of frosted the T-tops in the rear window. Get that in the picture. Trying to get used to doing all this. And the interior, I'm going to put some stills at the end. So, the interior is all the same color. I did I did do flocking on the, for carpeting. A couple of things I have to say about this kit is it's low parts count, low detail. And the interior is uh, pretty much a Trans Am interior. You have the Z28 decals for the dash. And they don't fit quite right because it's a Trans Am dashboard. I even looked it up. So the engine I did wire. Nothing fancy in here. This is more like a two-piece engine. A few extra parts, but top goes on the bottom. Glue it together and then add a few parts like the fan belt and stuff. But at least this one came with a battery. It looks good. 
the engine don't look great, but the, the car looks cool. So that's, that was my main goal is uh, reminiscent but a beautiful car. Bare metal foil I used. Again, I don't want to harp on it, but boy, this didn't, didn't stick real well. I wasn't real happy about that. Decals worked out good. I was pretty happy with those. Any problems were probably me. But I just love the stance on this thing. It looks so cool. It's going to look real good on the shelf. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Take care. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Take care.